Welcome to Marlins Way, where we find Lone Depot Park. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Washington Nationals taking on the Miami Marlins. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to roll. So here's the lefty, Trevor Rogers. What do we need to know here? Four pitch guy, he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. And that one sliced foul. Here's a 1-1. One, one. That one missed. Fouls one off. Two and two. The lefty fires. Fights it off. He'll see another. Here's a 2-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The 2-2 now. Up the middle, Anderson. Now the throw to first on the run. One up, one down. Here's Dave Martinez lineup for the Nationals. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, Boog, and that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll see if everybody can just relax, bring oh. things together, and perform at a level that they're capable of. Rivera steps on the bag, that two away first. here in the top the of the first. Jesse. Two outs, base is empty. Jesse Winker digging in for the Nationals. Rogers, 26 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in New Mexico. This one in the air. Anderson settles underneath it, and that is that. And the Nationals gone in order. And now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Lone Depot Park. And towing the slab in this one, Patrick Corbin. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Bottom of the first. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Arias. The second baseman, Luis Arias. And here it comes. That catches the corner. Just off the inside edge. Foul ball there. Kicks and deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. The pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of pitchers didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics. And they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls. But because hitters get a swing path, that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence. This pitch has come back into play, and they hey. are doing some special things with it. Oh, Ryan De La Cruz now in the box comes up empty with a swing there. Mm -hmm. 
on the ground to third and he picks it up in foul territory. Breaking ball and that got him. He had two strikes on him and he hit him. And now the switch hitting first baseman Josh Bell. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. That one finds the zone. Going one. De La Cruz, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. One Not ball. even close two there. Three. And the count is one and two. In the air, right side of the infield. Garcia on the run towards the line. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. Two down. Batting four. The and team. time now for the Marlins lineup. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored, and you want to get off to a great start, score early, because if you don't, you feel like you could linger into two consecutive games, which no one wants to be a part of. Abasail Garcia up. up to the plate. They take the force out, inning over. One left for Miami, scoreless after one. Back here in Miami, and here's the first baseman, the first Joey Manessis. Joey Manessis. Rogers, back to work. Ball one, on. no strikes. Right through there for a strike. Dave Lawrence behind the plate today. Consistent and pretty accurate with the balls and strikes. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Spook, that just keeps the game moving. Nothing overly unique about the strike zone that he calls, and as a result, he's appreciated by both sides. Yeah. Got the back going too soon in strike two. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. And now the count is even. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And one gone. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. And now up for Washington, Riley Adams. And yeah, oh, that's that too high. What game are you watching? <laughs> On the outside corner, and a count one and one. That's a little bit low. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. One out, base is empty. To the right side. Steps on he's first out. for the out. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Ildemaro Vargas. So now the D.H. spot, Ildemaro Vargas. And first offering is fouled off. Swings through that one for strike two. They can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Next oh, pitch is out. outside. It's a good take. Oh, and that's, that's off it. the inside edge. And the count is even two and two. 
Boils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Two outs, bases empty. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Now it's Nick Senzel. There's a strike. Here comes the 1. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Garcia makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. So one left for Washington. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom half of inning number two. And now the center fielder, Jazz Chisholm Jr. The wind of the pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Right side, Manessis. He handles it himself. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Batting fifth. Not shortstop. Ten. Here's Tim Anderson. Anderson. Tim Anderson rips one. He makes the catch, and there's two down. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Emmanuel Rivera in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Sliced hard, but foul. Ball to strike. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that'll do it. Miami down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go. Top we of the one. third scoreless the game. And now it's Luis Garcia. Luis Garcia. As the lefty gets to work. That one finds the zone. And that's strike one. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Just off the outside edge. And the count one and two. And another ball. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. You know, Brood, you often think of sliders more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. And here's the rookie center fielder. In the ball dirt, one, no and that's ball one. Top of the third, no score. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So now back to the top of the order. The battle, so the Nets lineup turns over. Up now for Washington, C.J. Abrams. Grounded out his first time. Fought off foul.
Left hand hitter waits. One ball, one it's strike. a pitch out. Nothing doing. And that's ball one. Man at first, one away. Hard ground ball based now. Lead runner makes the turn at second. The throw to third, and the throw's offline, safe at third. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Lane Thomas. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Just missed. Count one and zero. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count even one and one. Now this is a rocket to left. He's got it. Runner tagging and heading for home. The run comes across and the net score first. It's 1-0. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way bad. Here's Jesse Winker. He popped out his first time. Now snap throw to first. Oh, Abrams there. dives back in safely. Popped up first base side. Rivera should have this one. Brings it in. And that is that. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Nationals one and the Marlins nothing. And we're back. Way bottom up. of the Way inning. The Here's the third baseman, the Otto third baseman. Lopez. Otto. The why to kick the pitch. Slider misses outside. And the pitch. Slice to right. Thomas tracks it down for the out. Batting number, the catcher, Nick. And now the catcher Fortes. comes up to him. Nick Fortes. And that one fouled off. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. That's the third, and foul ball. One down, base is empty. Ball one. One ball, two strikes, you down. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same now page right now. The second baseman, Luis. Luis Arise stands oh, in. Oh, yeah. He was a strikeout victim his first time. On the ground, right side, and it finds its way through for a hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Waste no time there. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and we'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Runner at first with two away. Brian De La Cruz, the next up for the Marlins. Sinker catches the zone at the knees. All one's the count. Tying run. Is it first here in the last half of the third? That one fouled off.
Two outs. Ball at inside. Bows it off, still one and two. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Arrives around second, headed for third. Headed for the plate. He will score, and the Marlins tie it up. It's 1-1. Well, we're starting over again, all tied up. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And it's scoring position with two away. Josh Bell, the next up for the Marlins. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Right through there for a strike. 0 and 1. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Man on second, two down. Not close with that one, and it's one and two. Got him. Good job at damage control right there. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Three innings complete, all tied, 1-1. One, one. Back here at Lone Depot Park, Park as we go to the, the top of the fourth. Now it's the Nationals Joey. cleanup hitter, Joey Manessis. The pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Manessis, 31 years old, and he's a native of Mexico. He was late there, strike one. I got a ball, one strike. Gets the outside corner with that one. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. Good job to fight that one off. And a pitch. And ball. another ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Through. That one in the dirt. Full count now. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Payoff pitch. Stays alive. Here comes a 3-2. On the ground, out to short. Zips it to oh. first. She made the pitcher earn that out after a long at bat. Riley Adams getting ready to hit. Grounded out his first time. And that's outside. Out to short. Two quick oh. outs here in the top of the four. Now that designated hitter, Ildemaro Vargas. And here's the DH for Washington. Ildemaro Vargas. One for one with a single so far. And a rope into center field, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Next to hit for the Nats, Nick Senzel. He's 0 for 1. Yeah. Down the corner for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. Let's go, Miami. 
And one. ball one. One and one. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Oh, he botches it. And that keeps the inning alive. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. First and second, two down. And now up for Washington, Luis Garcia. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. And that's the third out. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get him home. And midway in the fourth, all tied 1-1. Bottom of the fourth, and now for the Marlins, Abisail Garcia. Abisail Garcia. And he deals. In the air, out towards left center. And there's one down. The center fielder, number two. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. And that's in there for strike one. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Next yep, pitch is outside. Out. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Lifted in the air down the left side. He's got it, and there's two away. Now that not shortstop. Here. Anderson. Here's the shortstop at the play. Tim Anderson. He's over one. And this is inside. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Anderson swings through that. One ball, two strikes. of the pitch three. and down on strikes he goes and good work there as he gets a one two three and the Marlins down quietly still tied one one Back here in Miami, we go to the top of the fifth. The Up now for Washington, Jacob. number 30. Young. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm Eight. delivers. There's the strike of the knees. 0-1. Good eye right there. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. pitch swing and a pop-up arise has it sized up puts it away for the out and there's one away so the batting order turns over CJ Abrams digging in for the Nationals one for two The shortstop takes a ball. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. No Wouldn't chase that time. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. That's in for a strike. This game has been so tight, feels like the next team to score will win it. 
And a strike. Two. Down the line. And that's a foul ball. Two two down. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Next to hit for the Nats, Lane Thomas. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Runner at second here, one gone. Out towards right center field. Gets there, he's under it. Makes the grab, and there's two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. So digging in, Jesse Winker. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. You try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And Winker is set down. And that's the third out. Nationals leave one. Score remains tied, 1-1. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the first baseman, Emmanuel Rivera. The line in the pitch. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that one hops the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Now the third baseman, Otto Lopez. 0 for 1 so far. Jack swing. Went around. That's strike one. Oh, one's the count. Man, it's second. That's a base hit. Rivera rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score, and the Marlins have the lead. It's two to one. Well, that may end up being an at bat we go back to later on when this game is over. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Nick Fortes. Went down on strikes his first time through. There's the strike. You know, these Marlins, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. A handful have turned into outs, but of the balls they put in play, 10 have been line drives. I say keep barreling the ball and good things will happen. Don't let that get you frustrated. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Now he breaks his bat. Fires to first on the run. Over to first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Well, that actually works out for the hitter. If it's not a broken bat, it's hit hard enough for a double play. But with the slower roller, defense does a nice job at least getting one out of it. And now Luis arrives. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. There's the strike. One out. 
and a runner at second. There's a strike up high. One and two. That's a base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Brian De La Cruz, the next up for the Marlins. In for a strike. Going one. Here comes a pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Lopez on third, arise over at first with one away. Two on, one out. That one, one not close. Two one and two to count. Base hit and a run in to score. Lead runner around second. To third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. Well, oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. One down. Josh Bell at the plate now. That's through there for a strike. Pitch. That one found hard the other way. The 0 2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. In comes the runner from third. It's 4 1. He was all over that one. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Patrick Corbin, done for the afternoon. Just never found his groove, wasn't able to settle in. New arm coming on, back in a moment. On to pitch now for the Nationals, Kyle Finnegan. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. And now the right fielder, Abasail Garcia. He swings and misses at the first pitch. Old one. one. Not the easiest thing. When you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, but maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Swing and a miss. That's no strike two. two. Strike. Got him swinging. Gassed it right by him. Well, that'll boost the swing and miss rate, saying he blew him away on three pitches. He didn't have a chance. Yeah, Boog, a dominant strikeout for sure, and he just looked overmatched at the plate. You know, as a hitter, when you swing and miss three times in a row, you feel like you've got a hole in your bat. You definitely start to question yourself. So first and second with two outs. And now, Jazz Chisholm Jr. And that's downstairs and outside. Ball one, no strike. And a 
another ball. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Right-hander kicks, deals. And there's a foul ball. Two on, two outs. And a two on hammered, but foul. Left hand batter waits. And there's a ball. Tim Anderson up next. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. They strike for three runs on five hits, no errors, and a couple left on. We're through five. It's the Marlins four and the Nats one. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six, and here's the first baseman, Joey Manessis. And a pitch. Sliced hard, but foul. Well, they gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would hey. like that pitch again. That's in there. No balls, two strikes. And he hits a ground ball right side. He steps on the bag. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Well, a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Now the catcher up to hit Riley Adams. In the first pitch misses for ball one. The Nationals trailing by three and we're the top half of the sixth. Headed down the line and that lands in no man's land a foul ball. The lefty fires. That's outside, and it's two and one. And a good eye there. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. The three one. This one popped up. Rivera moving under this one. Makes the grab. Two down. Now batter, the designated hitter. Ildemaro Vargas, the Vargas. next to hit. A switch hitter batting right. Strike. Pulls that one foul. The 0-1. That's out. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 2 count. Instead, it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. That That's one it. missing ball inside. Two. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. And that's outside, and it's three and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And he walked him. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, it's starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. So two down, and now up for Washington, Nick Senzel. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Vargas off of first with two away. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. That's back to back singles for him. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Luis Garcia will hit next. 
That one finds the zone. Strike one. Two outs. Swings through that one out in front that time. Signs of activity in the pen for the Marlins. Number 53, the young right-hander up and throwing. Nardi also getting ready. Two on, two outs. On the ground. And that's just foul. And here comes. Set down on strikes. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. No runs, a hit, two left. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Marlins four and the Nats one. Bottom of the sixth. And the batter will be the shortstop, Tim Anderson. Here. Anderson. Finnegan back to work. Aye. There's a strike. That one misses the, the zone. And now it's even one and one. And that skips in the dirt. That Whoa, one misses, that. and now three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches, and the leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy no, waits until man. there's a called strike hey, before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Rivera. And now the first baseman, Emmanuel Rivera. And a foul ball. Runner at first with no outs here. Oh, and the slider just misses. Righty to the plate. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Right-handed reliever. Swings over the splitter for strike three. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. In the air to left center. Got it. Nice grab. And there's two away. Man at first. Here's the catcher, the catcher. Nick Fortes. Nick Fortes. swing but he went too far that's All strike one count. at the belt and fires Ball. swings hey. through that just not able to catch up to that velocity two strike
and the righty deals. Not even close there, and it's two and two. This one in the air center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. So it's no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Marlins four and the Nats one. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Number 53. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Here's the center fielder. The Nats in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. That hits the dirt. Ball one. Just missed. Two balls, no. That one the other way. And that's a fair ball. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Man at second. And yep. that's a little bit high. Now 2-0. And a foul ball. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. Here in the top half of inning number seven. That just misses. Three and one now. And the right-hander deals. That one finds the zone. And it's three and two. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Kicks and deals. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Lane Thomas digging in for the Nationals. First pitch misses. And that one is inside. And there's the strike. Two balls, one strike. Two two now. Fights it off. You'll see another. And the pitch. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. So back to back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boog, and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned. And just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non-issue. Jesse Winker digging in for the Nationals. Oh. 
First pitch doesn't find the zone. Swing it a foul straight back. And a 1 1. In the air, out towards right center. Chisholm under it. Brings it in for the third out. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Marlins four and the Nats one. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Tanner Rainey. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Back to the top of the Louis Miami up. order. The Here's the second baseman, the Luis second baseman. Arias. Luis. Oh, yeah. And a pitch. Rainey, a 6 2 righty. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a two seamer. And it's fouled away. That one drifts inside. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. The pitch. Tap dances out of the way of that one. Kicks and fires. Three balls, two strikes. And yeah, they'll do it again. Righty delivers. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Now the number two hitter, Brian De La Cruz. And first offering is fouled off. pitch good Ball eye on that spot activity in the bullpen Trevor Williams looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez base is empty one away here at the bottom of the seven that one close ruled a ball and it's two and one foul ball The pitch stays alive. And he deals. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And the pitch struck him out looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Well, oh, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Here's Josh Bell. Nope. Just missed. pitch that one's in there and a count one and one <laughs> two 
two down nobody on fights that one away still one and two well he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there not sure exactly with the timing sometimes you get a backup breaking ball you're expecting it to make its move at the end it never does and you're tied up that's inside and that's ball three Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Payoff pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Two outs. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Nothing doing for the Marlins as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Anthony Bender. He's pitching on two days rest. Joey Manessis digging in for the Nationals. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. The wind of the pitch. That nope. one missed. That clips the corner. Make it bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. The wide, the kick, and the one-two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Next offering way off the plate. Wouldn't chase that time. Right back to him on the mound. First out in the top of the eighth. And now it's going to be Riley Adams. That's in there. That's strike one. The Nationals trailing by three. And we're in the top of the eighth. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away Three. 99 miles per hour to finish him off with that kind of velocity and elevated fastball even if it's still in the strike zone can be tough for hitters to get on top of two outs base is empty and here's the DH for Washington Ildemaro Vargas that misses the zone ball one Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. That oh, misses two. the zone and a count two and one. Two one. Eight. Right through there for a strike. Eight. Out to short, Anderson. On to first. Oh. Nats go down one, two, three. Nationals go quietly, and this is still a four one ball game. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Trevor Williams. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. Garcia. The pitch. Garcia. The leadoff batter as he swings oh, through it for strike one. That's in there.
Here comes a pitch. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Everything came together for him. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. And now the center fielder, Jazz Chisholm Jr. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Bounced up the middle. Fires over to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. The batter number seven. Shortstop, Tim Anderson. And up next for Miami, Tim Anderson. one movement in the bullpen Dylan Floro looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez Garcia the runner at second with one away Here's the 0-2. Goes down looking. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. And at the play for Miami, Emmanuel Rivera. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at second, two down. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Popped up right side, Garcia. Sizing this one up, and that'll do it. Marlins leave one, but they lead it four to one. now and on the mound the closer Tanner Scott I think closer has to be one of the toughest Good jobs job in baseball and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it every yeah. outing seems to be down. high pressure this one included we'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save and here it comes he swings and fouls one off at the belt and fires not close with that one, and the count is one and one. The other way, takes it in for the out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Up now for Washington, Luis Garcia. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The Fish trying to close out a three-run lead here at the top of the ninth. Just missed. Two and zero to Cal. Here it comes. Fought off foul. Next offering upstairs. Three balls, one strike. And that's ball four. Nope. Ball four. 
It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Number 30 in the box now, no balls and a strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. And now the lefty. And now one and two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just throw is high and over his head. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. The well, things that lead to big innings other than hits or home runs are of course walks and errors free base runners and they've been gifted with both so far this inning and that will make any manager in the dugout just stew a little bit and I'm sure he is right now stepping in CJ Abrams corner infielders guarding the lines trying to prevent extra bases and the slider just misses Runners are at the corners, one away. That's a strike, and it's one and one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Last chance for the Nats in this one. Next to hit for the Nats, Lynn Thomas. Yeah, there's a ball. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Right through there for a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Next pitch is downstairs. Jesse Winker hitting on deck circle. One strike away, and the tying run is on base. Got a great back and forth, and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches, and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Winker at the plate with two away, swings through that one. And he grounds one to the right side. And it goes just foul. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. That's out number three. Four won the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.